Hi, I'm Jimmy Sexton, founder and CEO of Esquire Group, and today we're going to be talking about Dynasty Wealth Structures. So lately I've been working with a new client, with, with a lot of new clients who are going through the wealth structuring process for the first time, and it kind of made me aware of a, a, a trend that I thought would be important to address in this video. And that is the trend of taking a very short-term view of wealth structuring. But before we get into the short-term view of wealth structuring, I want to give a little summary of what wealth structuring is for those of you that don't know. So wealth structuring is the art of designing and implementing structures to hold and manage your worldwide wealth so you can grow it, protect it, and pass it on to your heirs in a tax advantage manner according to your wishes. Now, wealth structuring brings together several different areas of planning. The first of which is estate planning. Now, estate planning is pretty self-explanatory. It's basically arranging your affairs so that your wealth gets passed on to your heirs in accordance with your wishes. The next thing it encompasses is succession planning. And a lot of people confuse succession planning and estate planning and use them interchangeably, but they're actually very different. So while estate planning looks at who's going to receive your wealth, succession planning looks at who's going to control your wealth. So who's going to manage your wealth once you're unable to or you don't want to anymore. The next thing that it encompasses is wealth protection. A wealth structure should be able to protect your assets from lawsuits, creditors, and even divorces, even in the absence of a prenup, if it's, if it's set up properly. It also encompasses tax planning. So your wealth structure should give you significant tax benefits if it's done right. And finally, it should provide you with some financial privacy. In my view, financial privacy is a basic human right and everybody's entitled to it. You know, unlike what all of these transparency advocates claim, everybody has a right to privacy. It's nobody else's business what you do with your, with your wealth. And privacy is actually a very key component of wealth protection because they can't take what they can't find. So now that we've gone over what wealth uh, structuring is, let's talk about dynasty wealth structuring and this problem of a lot of people having a very short-term view. So a very typical sort of new client or, or, or a current client that wants to get into wealth structuring says to me is, hey, I want to put my wealth in a structure that's going to protect it and give me access to it during my lifetime. Then I want it to take care of my spouse and then I want it to go to my kids. Well, that's great, right? I mean, it's very generous that your kids are going to get all this and I'm sure they're going to be stoked when they get a bunch of wealth. But you're also putting them in a, the same position that you were in prior to doing the wealth structuring, right? So you owned all of your wealth and then you put it into some sort of a wealth structure, which is generally a trust or a foundation to provide you with estate planning, succession planning, wealth protection, tax planning, and privacy. Well, once you die and the wealth then gets distributed out of this trust or foundation to your heirs, they're in the same boat you were because they now personally own this wealth and now they need to do their own wealth structuring, right? So they got to do their own estate planning, their own succession planning, their own tax planning, their own wealth protection, their own privacy. They have to go through what you went through and invest the time and money to do it properly. And this is why I prefer dynasty wealth structures. A dynasty wealth structure is essentially a wealth structure that lasts a really long time, for generations. And the key component of a, a, a dynasty wealth structure is that the assets stay in the wealth structure essentially forever. So, the, 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 and, the, and because the assets never get transferred to your heirs, you get a lot of benefits from this. So let me give you an example. So assume for a second, we set up a wealth structure for you, making yourself, your spouse, your 
kids and all your bloodline family descendants beneficiaries. Now, what that means is by making your bloodline family descendants beneficiaries is that anybody descending from your bloodline is automatically going to be a beneficiary of the structure. So that means your kids are going to be beneficiaries of this structure, their kids, their kids, and so on for as long as the bloodline goes or as long as, as, as the structure is going to exist, which can, like I said, exist for many, many generations. And then let's all, so that's taking care of the estate planning aspect of it, right? So now let's say we also incorporated a very comprehensive succession plan into this structure. By doing so, this succession plan is going to outline the process and procedure for managers to be replaced and how the succession of managers should take place. So now we have a sustainable structure, right? We have the beneficiaries outlined that are, you know, generations of your bloodline. And we also have how the management is going to work long term outlined through the succession planning that we did. So now what we, what we have is we wind up with this wealth structure that owns all the wealth. And then you have your kids as beneficiaries, their kids, but the wealth always stays in the wealth structure. So rather than the wealth structure distributing the assets directly to the beneficiaries, your heirs, and then terminating, the wealth stays inside of the wealth structure and then makes distributions as needed or up to, up to the board, depending on how the thing's set up, to the beneficiaries, right? So assuming that this wealth structure is being managed well and the income is in excess of the original wealth that you put in it, what will happen is the assets will essentially always stay in the wealth structure and income will be distributed to the beneficiaries and this happens for generations, right? When your kids die, for example, then their kids are the beneficiaries. And when they have kids, then they're the beneficiaries. So you just keep having generations and generations getting benefits, but the assets are still in here. And this comes with a ton of benefits. And I'm going to go over them right now. So first of all, estate plan, right? You've taken care of the estate planning inside this structure for generations because the wealth will always be owned by this wealth structure your the beneficiaries your heirs are never going to have to worry about doing estate planning for the wealth that is in the structure because you'll have taken care of that for them likewise succession plan because we will have built a sustainable su succession plan into the structure it's going to be clear how the management is going to succeed from board to board, from manager to manager. And so these heirs for all these generations are not necessarily going to have to worry about how they're going to select new managers because we're already going to have laid that out how it happens. Finally, and this is a huge one, you're going to get wealth protection, right? Now your heirs are going to, because they don't own the wealth, Nobody can take it away from them, right? That means if they get sued, if they get divorced, even without a prenup, they're not, no, the people aren't going to be able to get at the wealth because it's not technically their wealth. Now, if the wealth structure made, let's say, a distribution to them, they might be able to get their hands on that distribution because that distribution has become that person's wealth. But the bulk of the wealth is going to be self in the wealth structure. That is immense, right? I mean, think about the very common conversation that children and wealthy families have to have with potential spouses about prenups. It's very uncomfortable, right? Oh, you know, trust me, you know, it's very unromantic. But if the wealth is in the wealth structure, it greatly reduces the need to have a prenup. I mean, in a lot of cases, you don't even need them because the person doesn't have anything. Everything's owned by the wealth structure. So this is a huge, huge benefit, right? Finally, you're going to have tax planning They're built in there, right? So probably if you had a good advisor, uh, the wealth structure would have been set up in a jurisdiction 
that has this tax advantage. And so a lot of times you can set up a wealth structure in a tax advantage jurisdiction where the wealth is allowed to grow within that structure relatively tax free or at least at a very much at a very reduced tax rate. So that means because there's re tax benefits on the income inside the wealth structure, the wealth is growing faster because it's not being diluted by taxes. Now, this also gives the heirs a lot of freedom in moving around, right? Because if they personally own this wealth, what happens if they move to a country uh, that has estate taxes or wealth taxes or high income taxes, right? So one, the wealth structure, when it makes distributions to a beneficiary, the beneficiary is probably going to have to pay income tax on that distribution, depending on the jurisdiction that they live in. But the wealth structure very well could be distributing less income than those assets are, are generating if, if it's generating significant income. And if the beneficiary owned those assets outright, they would be liable for income tax on all the income that those assets are generating rather than just the portion they receive, which is likely the portion that they need. Additionally, if they own those assets individually and they lived in a country that had a wealth tax on individuals, they would have to pay that wealth tax. But if they don't own the wealth, they wouldn't have to pay that wealth tax. Additionally, and this is one of the biggest threats to wealthy families, is estate taxes. I mean, in some countries, estate taxes are like 50%. That means every time that wealth passes from generation to generation, it's being reduced by 50% in taxes. Because it's in the wealth structure, it's not passing from generation to generation, right? It's always staying in here and only the distributions are being distributed to the heirs, which they're paying taxes on, but the wealth is still here. It's not transferring to anybody. Generation after generation, the wealth is still owned by the wealth structure. So there's significant savings on estate taxes. And finally, privacy. If this was set up right and you're a privacy-minded individual, then the structure would have been set up in a way to provide financial privacy, not only for yourself during your lifetime, but also for your heirs. And again, that's a very key component of asset protection that they can't take what they can't find. So this, it's for these benefits that I really prefer dynasty wealth structures over these sort of short-term wealth structures that eventually distribute everything to the kids. And a lot of clients say to me, well, you know, I don't really want to control the assets beyond the grave for generations and generations. And I can understand that, right? I mean, you want your kids and, or, or your other heirs to be able to enjoy your wealth. But putting it in a dynasty wealth structure doesn't have to be about you exerting control over this wealth for generations and generations and generations. The reason for putting it in a, in a dynasty wealth structure are the ones that I've outlined is the estate planning benefits, the succession planning benefits, the wealth protection benefits, the tax planning benefits, and the, and the privacy benefits. And I think your heirs will greatly appreciate that sort of, let's say, being unburdened by these things. And so my recommendation is, if you're considering doing some wealth structuring, take a very serious look at putting a, a multi-generational dynasty wealth structure in place. Of course, we at Esquire Group can help. This is what I do all day long. Uh, check us out on the web at esquiregroup.com or shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com if you're interested in either setting up a wealth structure or potentially restructuring a current wealth structure. Peace.